All right, let's be real. 3D printing is way more accessible than it used to be. But finding a good budget printer that doesn't totally suck? Yeah, that's still a mission. So today, I'm breaking down the top five budget 3D printers, the ones that are actually worth your money. Whether you're just getting started or you're ready to level up without emptying your wallet, I've got you covered. Trust me, some of these picks are gonna seriously surprise you. So stick around, because your next printer might just be on this list. Starting off at number five, we've got the Antina Tina 2 Mini. And honestly, this little machine is such a hidden gem for beginners. If you're brand new to 3D printing and feeling a little intimidated by the idea of assembling parts and troubleshooting complicated settings, the Tina 2 Mini is literally made for you. It shows up fully assembled right out of the box, which means you don't have to spend hours figuring out what piece goes where or nervously second-guessing your build. And even better, it auto-levels the bed for you so there's no manual adjusting, no endless tweaking. It just gets everything set up automatically, which saves so much time and frustration. It's got a 2.4-inch touchscreen that's super responsive, and the whole interface is designed to be as beginner-friendly as possible. You're not buried under confusing menus or endless options. It's more like click, print, and you're off to the races. Plus, it supports Wi-Fi printing as well as SD cards, which gives you a lot of flexibility depending on how you want to send your files. It prints PLA filament with a build size of about 100 by 120 by 100 millimeters. Now, while that's not massive compared to some other printers, it's honestly the perfect size for minifigures, custom keychains, little functional parts, and learning the basics of 3D design and printing. And the print quality? Way better than you'd expect at this price point. Another bonus? It's incredibly lightweight, only around six pounds, so you can move it around easily without needing a dedicated setup or workshop. It's also super quiet when running, which is huge if you're printing late at night or living in a shared space like a dorm or small apartment. Maintenance is a total breeze too. Cleaning and changing filaments is quick and simple. Plus, you're only paying around $159, making it one of the most affordable and beginner-friendly options on the market right now. Honestly, if you've ever been even slightly curious about jumping into 3D printing, the Tina 2 Mini makes it almost impossible to say no. Moving on to number four, we have the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. And this one is all about value and delivering pro-level features at a price that honestly feels too good to be true. This printer is absolutely perfect for anyone who's moved past their very first 3D printer and now wants something a little more serious, a little more polished, but still staying within a very reasonable budget. It's loaded with convenience features that you usually find on more expensive machines. First up, it has a fully automatic bed leveling system, which saves you a ton of time and hassle. No more fiddling with knobs for hours trying to get the first layer right. Plus, it comes with a direct dual gear extruder that gives you incredible filament control, which is super important when you're working with flexible filaments like TPU or more brittle ones like PETG. The build is incredibly solid too. Thanks to its sturdy dual Z-axis design, you get way less wobble during prints, and that means cleaner, crisper layers even on those tall, complex prints. The Neptune 3 Pro also delivers a very generous build volume of 225 by 225 by 280 millimeters, so you're not limited to tiny models. You can actually tackle full-sized cosplay props, vases, or mechanical parts without running out of room. Another thing a lot of people don't realize until they use it, this machine is whisper quiet. Seriously, the silent stepper motors make such a huge difference. You could have this thing running an overnight print literally in your bedroom, and it would barely be louder than a fan. It's also worth mentioning that the setup process is really straightforward. Whether you're a hobbyist leveling up or just someone who wants a smoother experience, you won't be overwhelmed by confusing instructions. Plus, Elegoo's community is growing fast, and there are already tons of upgrades and mods out there if you want to personalize your printer later on. Print quality straight out of the box is excellent. The Neptune 3 Pro delivers sharp, detailed prints with very little tuning needed. At around $230, it honestly feels like you're getting features you would normally expect on machines that cost twice as much. It's super reliable, super smooth, and honestly, one of the best next step printers you can get without shelling out a fortune. At number three, we're diving deep into the resin world with the Anycubic Photon Mono 4. And if you've never printed with resin before, buckle up, because this thing will absolutely blow your mind. Resin printing offers a level of detail that's practically unattainable with standard filament printers, and the Photon Mono 4 takes it even further. It's equipped with a cutting-edge 4K plus monochrome screen, 
which means the resolution and sharpness of your prints are downright insane. We're talking crystal clear lines, impossibly fine details, and professional level results that will make every project look next level. Whether you're printing miniatures for tabletop games, intricate jewelry prototypes, highly detailed figurines, or even small precision mechanical parts, this printer delivers stunning quality every single time. One of the biggest standouts here is the monochrome screen technology. Not only does it allow for much faster curing times, but it's significantly more durable than older LCD screens, lasting thousands of hours before needing replacement. This faster exposure time also means you can finish projects that would normally take all day in just a few hours without sacrificing a hint of precision. Plus, Anycubic upgraded the light source system to provide super even, more consistent exposure across the entire print bed, which dramatically reduces the chances of failed prints, distorted edges, or weird layer inconsistencies. You're getting professional-grade performance at a fraction of the typical price. Speaking of price, you're looking at around $250, which feels like a total steal considering the insane level of detail and quality you're getting here. And while resin printing does come with a little more mess, you'll need good ventilation, nitrile gloves, and some cleaning supplies. The payoff in print quality is absolutely worth it. It's a small price to pay for prints that look straight up flawless right off the build plate. If you're chasing perfection, crave intricate details, and want a powerful yet accessible resin printer that won't blow your entire budget, the Photon Mono 4 is hands down one of the best picks you can make. Coming in strong at number two, we've got the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely packed with features from top to bottom. Bamboo Lab came in swinging with the A1 Mini, offering high-end capabilities without the high-end price tag that usually scares people away. For starters, it has fully automatic calibration, and not just bed leveling. It measures flow rates, compensates for vibrations, and even tunes itself for optimal printing. No manual bed leveling, no fiddling with tension settings. It just works every single time, which takes so much pressure off you as a user. It's also insanely fast, printing at speeds up to 500 millimeters per second. And what's crazy is that it doesn't just sprint. It maintains incredible print quality even at those high speeds. That means you can finish prints that used to take half a day in just a couple of hours, which is a total game changer if you're working on projects under tight deadlines or even running a side hustle selling prints. Plus, if you add the optional AMS light system, you can print in multiple colors automatically, not just swapping filaments manually mid-print, but full-on multicolor jobs that come out looking super professional. It's incredibly easy to set up too, even if you've never touched multi-material printing before. Beyond that, it's super beginner-friendly because of its clean app interface and the easy-to-use Bamboo Studio Slicer software. Everything feels smooth, modern, and intuitive, way less intimidating than a lot of older printers. And it doesn't hurt that you can monitor your prints remotely through the cloud app, getting updates and making adjustments even if you're not in the room. As for the build, it feels premium. Solid frame, quality parts, no rattling or cheap plastic. At around $299, it's an insane value considering you're getting performance and features that usually show up on machines double or triple the cost. If you're all about speed, top-tier features, easy automation, and honestly just having a printer that's a joy to use, the A1 Mini is hands down one of the most exciting and worthwhile printers you can buy right now. And finally, taking the top spot at number one, it's the Creality Ender 3V3SE, truly the undisputed king of budget 3D printers. Creality basically listened to every complaint people had about earlier Ender models and said, all right, let's fix that. And fix it they did. With the V3SE, you're getting auto bed leveling and a direct drive extruder right out of the box. And trust me, these two features alone completely changed the game. No more frustrating manual bed leveling or worrying about poor filament feeding. Printing flexible filaments like TPU or just regular PLA becomes way easier and way more consistent, even for beginners. Speed-wise, it's a major upgrade too. We're talking print speeds up to 250 millimeters per second which is more than double the speed of the original Ender 3, and it does it without sacrificing quality. You get clean lines, crisp edges, and sturdy builds, even when you're pushing the speed limits. Plus, this thing is built like a tank, with a rock-solid dual Z-axis design that keeps everything stable even on tall prints. The PEI magnetic bed is another massive win. Prints stick beautifully during the job, but once they cool, they pop off easily without needing a scraper. Way less risk of damaging your hard work. The user interface also got a complete glow up, 
It's simple, intuitive, and way less frustrating than earlier versions. You can get a print going in just a few taps. The 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter build volume is pretty much perfect for hobbyists. Big enough for cosplay helmets, RC car bodies, home organization projects, and more. And let's not forget the community support. It's absolutely massive. If you ever need troubleshooting tips, mod recommendations, or just some print inspiration, there are endless YouTube videos, forums, and Facebook groups full of Ender users ready to help. Price-wise, it's an absolute steal at around $199. Whether you're just starting out, upgrading from an older printer, or looking to expand your 3D printing empire without blowing your budget, the Ender 3 V3SE absolutely nails it on every single level. 